What is up, YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take another look at George Carlin. Uh, this skit is called "I'm a Fish uh, Fussy Eater." Um, I, I think it. I, you know, it's funny. I I start doing George Carlin reactions because I found stuff that I hadn't heard, um, and I've heard a lot of George Carlin. But every time I turn around, I find some other skit that I've never heard him do, um, and this is one of them. So uh, yeah, uh, let's check him out. The guy's a genius when it comes to comedy. I was what they called a fussy eater. He's fussy. He's a fussy eater. Fussy eater is a euphemism for big pain in the ass. <laughs> wow, this is a young, semi-young George Carlin. It's not as, I've seen him some of his stuff when he's even younger, but uh, yeah, he's pretty young here. I mean, if I didn't like something, I told them. I didn't play with my food, pick at my food. I said, I don't like that. You make this? I don't like it. Why? They wanted reasons. Well, you don't always have a reason. I don't know. I know I don't like it. And I know that if I ate it, I would like it even less. You like it? You eat it. Yeah. Then they would try to corner me with logic. How do you know you don't like it? If you've never even tried. It came to me in a dream. <laughs> Big pain in the ass. Some things I didn't like just because of the sound of the food. <laughs> to this day, I can still not eat yogurt. <laughs> Yo yogurt. It sounds like it's coming up again. <laughs> yogurt, yogurt. I can't eat anything with a Y and a G in it. <laughs> Something else that doesn't sound so good. Squash! You want some squash? Shit, no! <laughs> Sounds like somebody sat on my dinner. <laughs> Succotash? Want some suck attached? What'd you call me? You fuck! Look out! Hey, look out! Look, look, hey, look, look. Hey, come on! Hey, hey, fucking cool out! Hey, it's fucking lima beans and corn. Cool out! Cool out! We germ. No! Get it off my plate! Even something like eggplant. Well, which one is it anyway? Tell it to make up its mind and then come on back. <laughs> Terrible sounding food. Head cheese. <laughs> I can't even look at the sign. I'll be down near the bologna. You look at it. Between head cheese and blood tongue, I may never eat again. <laughs> Certainly won't be at the deli. <laughs> then there are some foods that sound too humorous to eat. Did you ever hear something too funny to eat? Guacamole. <laughs> it sounds like something you wear to a dance. May I borrow your green guacamole? <laughs> Garbanzo. <laughs> hey, you want some garbanzos? That sounds like a circus act. Ladies and gentlemen, the garbanzos. <laughs> <laughs> and the funniest food of all time, kumquats. <laughs> I don't even bring them home anymore. Just go to waste. <laughs> some things don't look right. I don't like that, Ma. Don't look right to me. 
Did you make that? Is there a picture of it in the cookbook? I bet it don't look like that. Let's face it, be honest, some things don't look right. Of course, some people eat anything. I know that. Some guys eat anything. I saw those guys in the army on the chow line. What's this? Never mind. Give me a whole lot of... That's rat's asshole, Don. <laughs> well, it certainly makes a hell of a fondue. <laughs> don't look. I don't eat anything I don't recognize immediately. If I have to ask questions, fuck it. I pass. You know? <laughs> Tomatoes don't look right either. On the outside, they're fine. Tomatoes look lovely on the outside, but you look inside a tomato and something is wrong. Something has gone afoul inside of a tomato. It doesn't look right, you know? It doesn't look like it's finished yet, for one thing. It looks like it's in the larval stage or something. There's thousands of seeds and a whole bunch of jelly-looking stuff. <laughs> Get it off my plate. It's cushy. It's like that stuff at the end of an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's not the end of an egg. It's the beginning of a chicken. <laughs> it's hen cum. Ah! Get it off my plate. <laughs> it don't look right. Something else that doesn't look like food. Lobsters and crabs. I mean, anything coming at me, walking sideways with big pinchers, somehow doesn't make me hungry. In fact, my instinct is step on that fuck. Look at the big bug, step on the big bug. Before he gets to the children. They look like they mean business. Can't order frog's legs in a restaurant. I keep wondering, what did they do with the rest of the frog? What did they do with it? They give little dollies and send them back out into the world to bed? <laughs> try, try to return them to a normal life if you can. Trouble is, the Dollies for Froggies program has been cut in half. <laughs> You've probably seen the last Froggy Dolly for a long, long time. <laughs> I'd rather eat a box of cookies. Does not always come in handy. Just eat a goddamn box of cookies. You ever do that? A whole box of cookies right in a row. I don't mean take them out. I mean eat them in the kitchen. Standing right in the kitchen, eat a whole goddamn box of cookies. <laughs> Just stare at the electric clock while you're eating those cookies. Do you ever notice right on the cookies it says, open here? Well, what the fuck do they think you're going to do? Move to Hong Kong to open up their cookies? <laughs> of course you're going to open them here. You're going to eat them here. You almost have to open them here. Thank God it doesn't say open somewhere else. <laughs> Shit, I'd be up all night trying to find a good location. Yeah, I don't know about the whole box, but I'm sure everybody's had that moment where they're in the kitchen eating way too many cookies at some point than they should have. Um, and you just can't stop. But uh, yeah, that's funny. Anyway, he's always uh, just comp always entertaining and always looking at things that you see every day. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you found this interesting, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye.